for the Jessamine County Library with uh, Neil Bell, and uh, Neil is a, uh, a Lexington painter. Uh, we uh, wanted you to meet him. first met you it was as the drummer of Palisades, a local band. Uh, would you describe yourself as a drummer who paints or a painter who drums? Oh my goodness. Uh, it's a hard one to answer. I guess, I guess I'm probably a drummer that paints. I mean I probably drum a lot more than I paint. Um, been at that longer, I would say. Let's say you've had a, a really long week. Maybe it's a really good week, maybe a really bad week, but you get to the end of the week and you've got stuff inside of you that you need to express that needs to come out. Do you pick up a drumstick or a paintbrush? Probably a drumstick, honestly. Um, I, uh, I, I don't, I'm not really a tortured artist type of person. Like, I don't really thrive on that. If I feel bad, I can't do art. Um, really, if I feel bad, I can't do music either. Like, I don't really, some people, I think, uh, would say that they do their best work when they feel the most pain, but I, for me, I think I'm sort of the opposite. Your band Palisades approached me about doing a music video for you guys, and when I saw the artwork that you painted over the front and back cover, I knew it had to be included in the video. Um, and ever since then, I would describe your work as a mashup of uh, 50 sci-fi, Scooby-Doo villains, and Jack Kirby. Um, how would you describe your work? Man, well, you did a good, a pretty good job right there, you know? I mean, uh, I think that's pretty accurate, really. Um, at least this collection that's here at the library today. Um, some things I don't ever show people. I, I do like just doing like nature type things too, but that's not that thrilling, you know? It's, <laughs> nobody wants to see bugs or, you know. So they've got a really nice write-up on you hanging on the wall over here that I read. It says, I wrote it myself. Did by you write the way. It? Okay, awesome. Well, <laughs> I had to, had to, I had to come up with something, you well, know. That's, that's even better. So it, <laughs> it, it mentions twice that you have. It points out that none of your, none of your paintings, the robots, no matter how intimidating they are, they're never holding weapons, which I think is awesome. Yeah. And the other thing is it mentions twice your optimistic view of the future. Would you say that you have an optimistic view of the future? Absolutely. Since, since you wrote that, obviously you do. Yeah, yeah, that. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I mean. I, I like other darker stuff for sure. I mean, there's a lot of that out there. I think you can find that pretty easily, and I like it. I, I dig that stuff too. Uh, but for me, um, my artwork, I, I kind of made a conscious decision to make it, you know, more about wonder and more about uh, sort of searching for things rather than, you know, destroying things. How long is this artwork here? I think it's here for about another two months, I think. Can somebody buy these paintings if they want to? If they want to, sure, I can just get a hold of me. Um, I, this isn't really a gallery, sure. so there's no published prices or anything, but, you know, um, just reach out to me if there's any interest, uh, we'll work on it. Awesome. Thanks for talking to us, man. Yeah, no problem, man. Thanks for, for coming out.